Tagmin Tapes exists to remove some of the technical hassle around self-taping, so you don't need to rename your files. When you upload your tape, it's automatically renamed to suit the casting director's preference, to include your name and the role and the project that you're taping for. You can also stitch files together that you're uploading so that they become one piece of video. The file size is reduced so it's not too big for the casting director without affecting the audio or visual quality and the tape is converted to MP4 so that it's compatible for all Mac and PC users. And finally, as soon as your tape is ready, your agent is automatically alerted. To upload a self-tape to your Tagman Talent app, log into the app and click on the menu top left. Then select Tapes from the menu and then click on the Upload button next to the tape that you want to upload. Then select the Browse button and then Photo Library. Find the video that you want to upload first, select it and click Add. If you want to upload more than one tape, then click the plus button, then Browse and then Photo Library. Select your second file and select Add. Tagmin will then ask you if you want to stitch these files together. That means do you want Tagmin to edit these files together so that they become one piece of video? If you do, then select yes, and if not, then select no. Then click continue. Tagman will then ask you to label your clip. Now this label is just for internal purposes only. It's for your agent to identify the clip. The casting director does not see this name. So a good example would be scene one or US accent, for example. You do not need to put your name or the name of the role or the name of the project in the file name. Tagmin does that automatically for you. So you can see here on the screen, these files have been named by the phone 6859.mov, but Tagmin will automatically rename that. So you don't need to worry about that part of the process. So we're just going to pop into the label box slate and scene because we're stitching these together and then we're going to scroll down and click on the upload button. You can see the status of the uploads there in the middle there and once they've finished you get a tick and we're uploading the second scene now and it's complete. So you need to wait until you see that and your files are now being processed ready for your agent and they will be notified as soon as the tape is ready. If you don't see this status bar in the middle and it jumps straight to this screen, Upload Complete, then your file might not have uploaded because you've not given your phone permission to pass that video on. So go into your settings in your phone, scroll all the way down to the bottom to your apps and select Tagmin Talent. And then within there, you've got the Allow Tagmin Talent to Access section and you want to go to the Photos tab and just ensure that that is marked as All Photos. It's slightly strange terminology because Apple use the word photos, but they include video within that. Make sure it's set to all and that will give permission for you to then be able to select and upload the tapes that you want to.